Las Vegas Sands primarily operates gaming destinations, essentially casinos operating largely out of Macau and Singapore today. In Singapore, they operate the iconic Marina Bay Sands Casino. And in Macau, they are the largest operator again with five different properties. Macau over the last several years has evolved from being what was originally a gaming destination to becoming a family entertainment destination where they have shows, concerts, restaurants, and shopping in addition to gaming. Today, for Las Vegas Sands, roughly about 70% of revenues come from gaming and the remaining 30% from all these other activities. So many of us who live in the Western world have a lot of entertainment options. On the other hand, people living in emerging Asia do not have similar kind of options. So what Macau and Singapore do at Las Vegas Sands, the properties in these two locations do, is to provide those entertainment options, not just for people who want to do gaming, but for family entertainment in general. And especially as these destinations evolve from gaming to all these other activities as well, they have seen significant increases in visitors over the past decade or so. We estimate the Macau gaming market will be worth over 31 billion pounds by 2030. China has a population of roughly 1.4 billion people, and that's essentially the catchment area for Macau. If you look at the United States, for example, roughly 10% of the population has visited Las Vegas. Less than 0.5% of the Chinese population has visited Macau. So we view this as a significant opportunity as incomes stabilize and increase over time. Macau will see a lot of visitor increases from China. So we're pretty excited about the long-term opportunity that exists today. We believe because of all the concerns related to the Chinese consumer, Las Vegas Sands is significantly undervalued relative to its long-term fundamentals. COVID-related travel restrictions and renovation of properties um, that Las Vegas Sands in Macau have depressed the earnings power coming out of Macau for Las, Las Vegas Sands. In addition to that, much of the valuation of Macau properties is not reflected in today's valuations. The earnings coming out of the Singapore casinos alone account for a significant portion of the company's valuation. So we believe that Las Vegas stands is significantly underappreciated today by market participants.